What's up, Odooers? Nathan here with another Odoo tutorial. Today, we're going to dive into the Odoo Calendar app, a powerful tool that keeps your schedule connected across your entire workspace. You can create, view, and edit meetings right from your calendar or even from a records chatter, so you're always just a click away from staying organized. Let's dive into our database and explore how quickly and easily you can set up a meeting in Odoo Calendar. All right, so we're kicking things off here on our main Odoo dashboard. And of course, we can simply open up the calendar app to view my schedule and create events. But since this app is fully integrated, I can also schedule meetings directly from a records chatter. So let's jump into the CRM app to see how that works. And it's also worth noting that every record in Odoo has a chatter section. For example, if we click into this 5VP chairs card for ReadyMat and scroll down, here is the chatter where we can see any updates, messages, notes, as well as any scheduled activities. So we want to schedule a meeting. And to do that, we're going to click this activity button here and simply change the activity type to meeting. And then from here, we could click schedule. Once we click that schedule button, it takes us straight to the calendar app. Here, I can select a date and time that I want to schedule. But first, I need to make sure that my teammate Abigail is available to join this meeting. To check their availability, I can add Abigail to the attendees list. And once she's been added, her schedule will appear on top of my calendar schedule. So this makes her schedule visible to me so I can find a time that works for both of us. However, keep in mind, adding Abigail here doesn't actually schedule the meeting on her calendar yet. It only shows me her availability. So to create the actual event, I can either click new in the top left corner or I can simply click on the time slot that I want to schedule this meeting for. And it looks like she's available tomorrow around 11 a.m. So let's go ahead and click on that time. And as soon as I do that, a new event pop-up window appears. We can input the event details here and then click save. But instead, we're going to go ahead and click on this more options button for a more detailed and expanded view. Let's start by adding a new meeting subject. Currently, it's five VP chairs, but we're going to update this to service presentation for ReadyMat. And earlier, we added Abigail under attendees to view, but that didn't actually book her for anything. It only let us see her schedule. So we're going to officially add her to this meeting so it appears on her calendar. And to do that, we're just going to select her from the attendees drop down menu. I can also invite my client as their contact information is already in the database. So we're just going to search ReadyMat. And we're meeting with Billy Fox. So I'm just going to click his name here. Perfect. So from here, I can adjust the start time for this meeting. I can also indicate if this is an all day event or not. To keep things simple, I'm going to change the duration to two hours because I think this is going to take a little bit longer than just one. And when I update the duration to two hours, Odoo automatically changes the end time for us. For in-person meetings, I can add a location here or just keep it as an online meeting. And since this is a virtual meeting, I can also add a video link by clicking this plus Odoo meeting, which instantly creates a video call link through Odoo Discuss, Odoo's built-in messaging and video tool. You'll also see a button to the right of it, which allows us to directly join this video call, ready for both Abigail and me to use when the time is ready. Odoo also lets you control the privacy settings for your meetings. Here I can choose whether I want my status to appear as busy or available. And we also have a second privacy menu here, which is for the meeting itself. And we can keep this public, private, or for internal users only. I'm gonna change this to private. Finally, if we jump down to the Options tab, we can see that I'm set as the Organizer, Mitchell Admin, but I can also reassign this to any user in my database if I like. I can also add a short calendar description towards the bottom here, so Odoo really covers every detail. I can also add a quick tag for reference, and we're going to add Customer Meeting just so we know what this meeting's all about. And in the event this is a recurring meeting, we could toggle this recurrent button right here. And if you're like me and need reminders for everything, Odoo also makes that easy. And we can add a reminder here by clicking this drop down menu. And I'm going to select this email six hours. This will send an email to all attendees six hours prior to the meeting start time. Just so you know, you can also create custom reminder types as well. So once everything looks good, I'll just scroll back up and click this email button next to the attendees field. 
and Odoo will automatically use the calendar event update template. However, I can edit this as I like or even change this to a different template. However, I'm happy with this, so I'm simply going to click send. So now we can use the breadcrumbs to get back to our calendar view. And when we do, we can see that our event is saved and visible on both Abigail and my calendar. And if we click into the event, we can see the event summary here. It shows us the attendees. We can see our tags, our email reminder, the organizer info. And we can also see there's a green check mark beside my avatar, which confirms that I've accepted the invite. And of course, we have our video call link here that opens the chat directly in Odoo Discuss, keeping everything connected. And when I'm done, I can go back to our 5 VP chairs opportunity. And in the chatter, I can mark this event as done, reschedule it, or even cancel it altogether. Pretty cool, right? And that's it. Odoo makes scheduling meetings from any record quick and effortless. With just a few clicks, I can view my team members' calendars, find the perfect time, and set automatic reminders for everyone attending. That's all for now, but be sure to check out our other tutorials and documentation to learn even more about managing activities in Odoo. Until the next video, thanks for watching.